Hello, my name is Becky Brandenburg and I am from Patuxent Baptist Church in Great Mills, Maryland. And today I just wanted to talk to you from Romans chapter 8. Romans chapter 8 is an amazing chapter. It is filled with so many good verses. Um, you think of Romans 8, 28, and we know that all things work together for good to them that love God, to them who are the called according to his purpose. And then there's Romans 8, 1. There is therefore now no condemnation to them who are in Christ Jesus, who walk not after the flesh, but after the spirit. And there's so many more. Um, if you've never read through Romans chapter eight, I highly encourage you read through it, study it, and just see so many different promises and, and verses that God gives us. But I wanna focus today on verses 35 and then 37 through 39. And the Bible says, who shall separate us from the love of Christ? Shall tribulation or distress or persecution or famine or nakedness or peril or sword? And then verse 37, nay, in all these things we are more than conquerors through him that loved us. For I am persuaded that neither death nor life nor angels nor principalities nor powers nor things present nor things to come nor height nor depth nor any other creature shall be able to separate us from the love of God, which is in Christ Jesus our Lord. So here in these verses, Paul is reminding us that there is nothing that can stop God from loving us, nothing that will take God's love away from us. You think about everything that's going on in the world with the coronavirus, and even before the coronavirus, just sickness and death, crime, and just sin in general that runs rampant in our world. Through all of that, God still loves us. Through everything, God will never stop loving us. The verse says, who shall separate us from the love of Christ? Shall tribulation? We're going through some really trying times right now. Shall distress, persecution, famine, nakedness, peril, sword? When you think of all these things, they're all negative. They're all bad, they're all evil. And yet through them all, God still loves us. Paul goes on to say, again in verse 37, nay. That means no. No way. God's love will not stop because of these things. In fact, through them, the Bible says we are to be more than conquerors. We can rise above all of this, but we can only be more than conquerors through him that loved us. Through that love, that love of God, that love that sent Christ to the cross. Paul goes on to say in verse 38, for I am persuaded. The thought here is convinced. I looked it up in Webster's 1828 in the dictionary, and it says influenced or drawn to an opinion or determination by argument, advice, or reason suggested. So basically, Paul is convinced because he has seen firsthand the love of God. He knows that nothing, not, not death, not life, not anything that's happening now or anything that's going to happen, nothing will separate us from the love of God. So that is something that we need to hold on to right now. We're not supposed to go through life defeated and discouraged and depressed. The hard times, the trials that come into our lives, they are there for a purpose and we are to rise above them. We are to be more than conquerors. We have a, another promise in Hebrews 13 verse five. The second part says, for he hath said, I will never leave thee, nor forsake thee. That is a promise from God that he will be there through everything. He'll never stop loving us. He'll never leave us. And we can be victorious. In fact, he's already seen us victorious. He's given us the victory. So now all that being said, I want to look at this verse from a different angle. So we know that God will never stop loving us. We know that he'll never leave us. He'll never forsake us. But what about us? What about our love for Christ? I'm gonna read that verse again. Who shall separate us from the love of Christ? Shall tribulation or distress or persecution or famine or nakedness or peril or sword? What will it take to cause you to turn your back on God? 
what can come into your life to take your focus from him, to cause you to stop loving him. We know that he'll never stop loving us, but what about our love for him? Shall tribulation? Again, we're going through some, some tough times. Perhaps you or someone you know has been affected by COVID-19. Are you angry? Are you questioning God? God, why is this happening? Are you bitter? Are you allowing these trials to make you angry? Perhaps you've lost a loved one. And I'm not trying to be insensitive. I have friends who have lost family members and loved ones because of the coronavirus. And so I'm, again, I'm not being insensitive, but I am saying that God is still good. I am saying that God's love is still very real and he is still there. And so that love that sent Christ to die on the cross, that love that is unconditional, you think about what Christ went through and anything that we can go through pales in comparison to what he went through and yet he still did it because he loved us. And so my, my question for you is, how is your love for Christ? Are you allowing this to make you angry? What will separate your love for Christ? What will cause you to turn your back? Can you say with all confidence, like Paul did, nothing. Nothing will separate my love. Or have you allowed these trials to make you bitter? My encouragement is if, if you feel yourself slipping, if you feel that, that you're turning your back because of things that you're going through, stop now and ask God to help you. In all these things, we are more than conquerors through him that loved us. Thank you.